Hello, blueberry picking fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is my Sans 3 Minutes Max. Today, we're going to continue talking about event logs and specifically the uh, forensic goodness in an event log that shows evidence of user log on, log off. Now, this is attributable to local log on. Somebody set at a keyboard and pushed the buttons to log on and log off. Let's have a look at what that is like. We're going to use Event Log Explorer for this and we're going to open up a log file. Uh, the log on log off is in our security event logs so that's what we're after and when we open up our security event logs we see we only have 3400 events which is uh, not many for uh, security event logs but that's because uh, they uh, archive the log. So I'm going to go get the next most recent archive log for the security event logs and I'm going to load that up and it's going to merge it with the existing one. So now I've got a merged file, I've got 21,000 events. That's a lot of events. Um, do I want to look at all of those events? Well, not one at a time. So I'm going to go into my filter and the event IDs I'm interested in are 4624, which shows successful logon. And I'm going to go to use 4634, which is log off ID. Now, when I run that filter, we're down to 413 events. But you see, there's different logon types. As you can see here, logon type 3. Now, I'm most interested in logon type 2 because logon type 2 is uh, actual user initiated. So I'm going to set a filter, a condition here. Logon type 2 is the only one I want. And I'm now down to 16 events. These are all specifically fingers on the keyboard. Now, I, I see the most recent log off here, this 4634. Uh, and I want to correlate it to when the logon was. Well, you can see there's a number of logons and logoffs. Which ones go with which? Well, this logon ID hex value here allows me to go and search uh, for the corollary uh, login. So I'm going to grab this and I'm going to go back to my filtering. And I'm going to put this into the description. Filter is going to be applied. There was the log on and there was the log off. We know it was they correlate to each other because the login ID is equal and so we can see the person logged in at this date and time logged out on that date and time from the same session. So this gives us great visibility into tying a user to actual log on. Now the log on IDs what do they mean? Well, we can see here the various different logon ID types. Logon ID 2 is great. Logon ID 10 is pretty cool too because it's showing uh, RDP logon loggers. But we're going to talk about that another day. So, in the meantime and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.